a lot of you have been, I know a lot of blacks in that know is a miracle in India, correct? The Cherokee. The Cherokee look like this. Hold on, hold on, since we got you. So, when people make the ignorant statement and say Hispanics were never in slavery, that's just an ignorant statement because history is very poor. The Negroes... Yes. The reason why the woolly hair... Listen. The reason why the woolly hair deteriorated is because the Spaniards raped the women. Now, if a white man rapes a black woman, that's not that's his seed. That's, that ain't got to be. Good, good, good. Right now, that seed marries a black man. You trying to tell me that her hair texture will be the same as Afro? No, it wouldn't. But my thing is, you, why, why wouldn't it be? Listen, you trying to help you get me up here? I got you. Now. One with the you say the one with the straight hair. Right. Marries a black woman. Right. Their child was a black woman. That's not it is going to come out black because of the father. However, that does not determine the skin complexion. You could be dark. I don't really care too much about the skin complexion because I I got I got some skin red, high yellow, but got woolly hair, high hair, like you want to rule you. Right. But I'm what I'm saying is give me a picture of this with some People with blue eyes, recessive genes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, his father's white, so he ain't no, he ain't no as white. He's not. So his mama, his mama is what? What is she? What is she? African or black? His mother is Jamaican, I believe, and his father was white. So that's easy. He's not an Israelite. He, no, he's not. Now. You have a city that's we say the 12 tribes of Israel consist of blacks and Hispanics that consist of Negro and Indian descent. We're talking about the native Indian and the uh, black people that came from the west coast of Africa. Okay, now I can understand that, but some of the some of the some of the fans, like GMS, a couple of other ones, they 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 said that the white man is Israel. Like they literally be having the death of their camp, and I'm saying it like, yo, how y'all expect for us to get this right? Y'all got people that wasn't even in the same box. Right, well, the reason, reason why that's not about with them is that due to the lust of their of their elders of that camp. They like white women, so it's gonna happen. They like white women, so they hate the black woman. They hate the black woman, but they'll say the other women like the uh, people from. Italy are Israelites, or Portuguese are Israelites. That's wrong. However, there are Israelites in Italy, there are Israelites in Portugal. What does scripture say? The Israelites were scattered where? Question. Now, since you're here, let's go to 2nd Ezra 13, verse 40. Let me get this. Let me get this. Let me get this. Let me get this. Let's see why you're That's why I say I don't mind. His dad is darker than you. His mother is the same shade as him. But guess what happened with genetics? He took her hair texture and he took her hair, uh -huh, her complexion. Exactly. So we cannot say that they are not Israelites based on how they look. What did Christ say? Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. That's what he Well, the Bible, the Old Testament system talks about Christ dying for our people. Hold on. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. You're the same person. Go to Isaiah 53. You don't have to try to convince me that there's Christ like, no. Isaiah 53. Sisters, a lot of us are unlearned, and we're not listening. Yeah, I'm not unlearned because I know I. Where did you, who taught I'm you? I'm not worshiping no idol. Where, where did you learn from? Where did how, you learn how from? How are we gonna believe in somebody to get to the Creator? Or somebody who created us? I don't get that. I never got that. That's just like if you stay here and you and, and you, you my dad, and you tell well, that's your daughter. You talk. Listen, I don't want you going outside because such and such. But here it is, somebody else, a Godfather, whoever said, "Yeah, blessing, go outside, go outside." Okay. You want me like yo? Didn't I tell you not to go outside? That's just like our Creator telling us like, "Don't." No, no, I I understand where you're coming from. But let me show you something. Let's go to Isaiah 53 and verse. I'm not that good with the scriptures and stuff like that. Remember, 
The scripture tell you that you got to be taught all over again. That's the first principles of God. Watch this, watch this. Hold on. Give me verse 10. You're right. Come read this real quick, you're right. Real, read this and be clear. Isaiah 53, verse 10. Hold on. She don't want her name out there no more. Read this. Book of Isaiah, chapter 53 and verse 10. Verse 8. He was taken from prison. We're reading about a, a prophecy, correct? Isaiah is a prophet. We're reading about a prophecy. Read. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? So we're talking about a different generation. It wasn't Isaiah's time. We're reading about a different generation. Read on. For he was cut off out of the land of the living. So obviously there was a person that died, right? He got cut off and he got killed. Read on. For the transgression. What does transgression mean? What's another word for transgression? Right now, my mind is okay, the word transgression means sin. Okay? Read that. Just take the word transgression and put sins. Read it again. He was cut off out of the land of the living for the sins of my people. Was he stricken? So now we're reading Isaiah. Who is this talking about? Was it David? The David is dead. Solomon was dead. Who was killed? Listen. Who was killed and who was stricken? That's the rule. Was going to be killed for the sins of the people. We don't. And he made his grave with the wicked. Verse ten. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. When thou makest thou is God. When God. When thou shall make his soul an offering for sin. What prophet soul was made an offering for sin? I am that and wasn't no Jesus. Okay, who was it? It wasn't no Jesus. My thing is, how I got to say it can't be David who's going to okay. sit on the throne, but y'all can say it's because David Jesus. Is dead. And so is the so-called Jesus. David, this is so Isaiah. So called Jesus. Is it, wasn't he supposed to be the line of David? Listen, 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 listen. We're reading a prophecy. Prophecy means the future. I, I'm sorry. There was a man that was going to die for the sins of the people in the future. Who's that talking about? He talked about JC. I tell you. So who was it talking? If you if you tell me it ain't Christ, who was it? Ain't talking about JC. If it wasn't, then who was it? I don't have my Bible here with me to get into all of that, but I know. We got Bibles here. They're not talking about JC. So who was it? They're not talking about JC. So who was it? They're talking about JC. So who was it? talking about JC? Listen, we're going to tell you the answer. So who Keep was he reading? Because it wasn't no JC. Yeah. Give me a prophecy. It says, then shall my son, read this, go ahead. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hands. He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteousness. Watch this. Let's get the apocrypha. Hold on, uh, sister. So why, why he say that? It was it's going to be me. That's not right. That he's only done. He only done with King David. Like why he never mentioned this? Why Jesus such a hold on. We're going to read. We're going to read. He gave everybody else but this JC. Like this is Second Ezra. Hold on. This is the Old Testament. Second Ezra. Old Testament. Chapter seven. Give me verse 28. Give me verse 27. Turn so verse 27. Second Ezra, chapter 7, verse 27. I want you to listen good. And whosoever is the... Read 26. Verse 26. Behold, the time shall come that these tokens which I have told thee shall come to pass. More prophecy. And the bride shall appear. So the bride. That's me. Let's find out who this is talking about. Go ahead. And she coming forth shall be seen that now is withdrawn from the earth. So this certain bride is going to get married. But that groom ain't here yet. He's withdrawn from the earth. Get on. And whosoever is delivered from the force that evil shall see my wonder. So the people that's going to be delivered. Listen good. Let's see who is going to deliver them. And we're going to read what we're reading? The Old Testament. Verse 28. For my son, Jesus, shall be revealed. Where are we reading? Second Ezra, chapter 7, verse 28. For my son, Jesus. Hold on, wait, stop, stop. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, see y'all, you hear this? Did you hear this? 
you hear that? Listen, read this again. Come here, see. Cold, I'm gonna quote where we at. This is Second Ezra, chapter seven, verse 27. 28. Thank you, young lady. Thank you. And whosoever is delivered from the foresaid evil shall see my wonders. For my son Jesus shall be revealed. And I'm telling you, I ain't no damn Wait a minute. That means you must not learn properly. You need to talk properly. I know. First of all, I watch. I watch, brother. I'm going to I don't watch. 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 I Absolutely not. We just write, hold on, sis. We just write in the Bible, whoever they are. We pray that they keep God's law. We disagree that I don't believe that they're going to say here. I don't believe that they're going to say here. We just write in the Old Testament that my son Jesus shall be the Lord. The burning bush, that was Jesus Christ. Listen to it. We got to say Esau. You don't believe it? So who's Esau? Esau ain't no goddamn white man. Oh, see, oh, you got to pull out. All right, you know what? Oh, I know they the devil that the Bible speaks. He's all the way. Because the prophecy. So when they say the Romans and these people and that people are going to take us into captivity, they didn't ever say Esau was going to rest. They said they Esau watched us while they were in the Gashitans. Where's that in the Bible? I got it from y'all. No, you did not. You got it from Elkanah and the men. Because he don't speak on that. Listen, he don't speak on that. Esau is the so-called white man. That's right. No. The Arabs come from Ishmael. That's, right. That's common knowledge. Right. They're, 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 they're not Japheth. The Bible says that because uh -huh. I'm not sure that they are the, uh, white man. Second Ezra 6 and 9. Hold on, we're going to stay in that same Ezra. Yeah. Yeah. So we just read Ezra 6 and 9. that Christ is in the Old Testament. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
forces work with the physical counterpart to do their bidding. So we're going to find out which people on the earth is the spiritual demonic forces are using. Ephesians 6 and 12. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world. Stop. What's the key word we want? This world. What is this world talking about? You see that? Si systems. Uh, uh -huh. systems. Pretty, much, pretty much systems. Okay. You gotta put a face to the devil. Who is pushing the system? I'll give you an example of uh -oh. darkness. But who's Hold on, stop. Right. I'll give an example. Right. I'll give you a system that's darkness. Right. The LB is a system of darkness right, right, that, is, right. that is controlling the American public to agree right, right. with homosexuality and transgender but who, but who, So wait, who is, who is behind that? Right, right. Who did it? Who established that? Who, who, who you say it is? No, no, answer who the question. You say who is not? No, who you say it is? No, who you say it is? No, who you say it is? No, no, stop, stop. You laughing because you know the answer. I want to know. Hold on, my brother here. No, no. Who decided? To create the LBGT community. And push it over the world. The devil. Who pushes it over the world? Who does that? Mankind. What, what man? man? What man of mankind did that? A lot of men. Oh. Oh so what do you do? So you trying to break it? Let's, let's hold on real quick. Let's break it down all oh, men. We're let's break it down. We're talking about let's, it. let's talk about we're all races. Real quick. I got you. Right. The principalities and powers. The powers that... B, that's what that's talking about. And the, during this time of the Ephesians, stop, stop. During the time of the Ephesians, that's still with the historical, <laughs> biblical context. Right. Who was ruling during that time? Right, right. The blacks. What? The Romans, correct? You know why Paul did not say the Romans? Because back then, if you spoke against Rome, you got killed. That's right. So what right. he did was he spoke in a parable right. to the wise. He said, yep. the principalities of the darkness of this world, he was referring to the Roman Empire. That's right. We as the Israelites, we are confirming today that the principalities and powers of this world is the United States of America. That's, right. Right. That's who it is. So who is it? Who is it? The so-called white man. That's who it is. Yo, my brother, can I ask you a question? He's not pushing LGBT. Be honest, brothers. Be honest. You're not doing it? Do you agree? Can I ask you a question? Just just a white hey, can I ask you a question? Yo, white can you, okay. Did the Chinese the go around statement? saying that the LBGT community is the correct way? Did they do that? Did they do it? Did the African man in Ghana or in Liberia, did he go around the earth saying, follow the LBGT? No. So who was it? The white man did that, brothers. So he is part of that principality and darkness of the world. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. He is the head of pressing out other races in the movement. But who is the source? Who is the root of it? The so-called white man. No trace. Yes. What's where's that? Where's this? What did Jesus mean when Peter, when Jesus was talking to his disciples, and he said, he said, who do men say I am? Right? Peter said that you are the Christ, the Son of living God. And flesh and blood have not revealed that. So who was who was Jesus talking about then? Flesh and blood did not reveal that to you. Really, the only reason only reason why Peter understood that because he himself walked with Christ. No, That's the reason why he knew that. Flesh and blood that did not reveal it to him. His eyes, he's talking about his eyes. He said, yes it is, brother. Brother, what you're doing is, I'm going to see what you're doing. That's you're trying to change the topic, number one. No, no. Number two, who is the principality of darkness of this world? It's the so-called white people. That's, that's, that's right. right. Give me, hold on. Now we are going to prove it. We are going, I didn't say that. Listen, listen, listen. We didn't say that. We, didn't say that. we said, who is the head? The, we're talking about the principalities and powers. Not all white people are in the principalities and powers. We're talking about the leaders of that principality and power. Right, and who does he use? The so-called white people. That's what we're talking about. And, and it so happened that he's using the white men. Go to Joe. That's all one. Joe. But not in this time period. Not in this time period. Remember, Daniel, you read the Bible? 
Okay. Okay, when you read the Bible, who was ruling during the time of the, uh, who was the principalities and darkness of this world during the time of Daniel? Nebuchadnezzar, correct. He was the principality and darkness of that world. He was. During the time of Ezra, who was the principality and darkness of the world? Artaxerxes or Arthasaurus. He was the principality and power of the world. During the time of Maccabees, who was the principality, who was the, during the time of the Greeks, who was the principality of that world? Alexander the Great and Antiochus Epiphanes. They were the principalities of this earth. Who was it during the time of Rome? Claudius Caesar and Julius Caesar. Donald Trump! And the Caesars. Who is it today? America. You understand? Hey, can I ask you a question though? So wait, brother, is does that make sense? So I'm not, we're not, my brother, we're not saying the devil did come in different forms in time. But at this time, this present world is Esau. What's the difference? Make sense? Who's Esau and Edom today? The so-called white man. Huh? He is he himself is in Africa conquering nations in Africa. And promoting homosexuality. Sir. Sir, can I ask you a question, sir? Who? Who go around and over? Okay, yes, he's a wicked hold on. He's a wicked man in one part of Africa. Absolutely. I read about him. He's killing every killing everybody. We got it. However, we don't know the full story of that because we're getting mainstream news, number one, which we gotta be careful of. But for these brothers to, the problem with that when you say, oh, it's, it's the spirit of darkness, yes, there is a spiritual force that's evil out here, we know. But they are using a certain group of people to push the evil. Okay. The book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The hand. What does the word hand mean? What does the word hand symbolize? Control. Remember that song that has the whole wide world? That's not what the Bible is saying. The Bible tells us that God gave this wicked man power in his hand. Who's ruling the earth, brother? Who has a military base in everybody's country? They're promoting their laws and their rule and regulation. That's America doing that. America in the Bible is Babylon the Great. That's right. Babylon the Great. His, you know who Babylon the Great ruler is? Democracy. Lucifer. Who's Lucifer? Lucifer is the king of Babylon. He's a man. When you read Isaiah 14, it said, is this the man? Is this the man? Is this the man? What type of man? No, 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 no. no. wrong. That was metaphorical. He wasn't talking about that. No, that's not true. You're trying to You know why it's metaphorical? You're twisting, you're twisting stuff. No, no. I don't have a pastor. I don't have a pastor. He's he is the pastor. Yeah, he is the pastor. He is the pastor. He's talking about a man. He is the pastor. The pastor is a man. He is the pastor. In other words, the person was asking. Real quick, we're going to show this. Isaiah 14. Read uh, verse 12. Book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 12. You listening? King James Version. Isaiah 14 and 12. He's twisting the scripture. Hard thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer. Is that metaphoric? Because he said that's a metaphor. Is that metaphoric? Read this. He said it's metaphor. That part is a metaphor. Read that again. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Now, the average unlearned man will say heaven is talking about this, where God lives, correct? With the sky and all that. So the average unlearned person said that an angel came from heaven. We are teaching you according to the Bible, heaven means rulership. Right. How art thou fallen, O Lucifer, from rulership? Meaning ruling the world. Read on. Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground? Son of what? Son of the morning. Read on. How art thou cut down to the ground? Which didn't weaken the head of his feet. Which did weaken, what's the word weaken? To destroy. He destroyed what? I don't know Which you know did weaken the nation. Question. Yeah. Was there an angel like that, man. of heaven that right? fought God? That's what they say. So, yeah, that, I mean, Went around the, weakening nations. Demons, yeah. And history. The Bible is a very good memo of scripture. I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Down, uh, remember everything. Was there an angel that went around yeah, the earth? Let me give you an example. Like he was around the earth and he started to destroy nations. Did, is that historically accurate? 
If you ask any historian, the answer is no. There was no angel running around with wings and his minions destroying people. You understand how that don't make no sense? We don't? This is talking about America, brother. Do America weaken nations today? Absolutely, don't. What country are you from? You from Jamaica. Does America have land and property and things in that nature in Jamaica? How do you think they went to Jamaica? You think they went to the Jamaican people and said, uh, can we borrow Montego Bay for the resort? Or did they take it from them? Think about it. Talk to me. Think about it. It was money. Right. So when money is involved, don't you got to weaken somebody to get their money? When they went to Africa, did they, talk, did they go to the African and say, Africa, my brothers, can, we, can I borrow Cape Verde? Did they do that? Or did they conquer Cape Verde? Did they conquer Liberia? Yes. When they went to China, listen good, when they went to China during the Boxers Revolution, did they tell the Chinese they wanted to be there or did they force their way in there? That's why the Great Wall of China was created. To get them out of there. Nagasaki in Japan, did they put an atomic bomb and weaken them? So who's doing the weakening of the nations, brother? It's not the demon angel, it's America doing it. Right. Read on. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Now that we know that's not talking about an angel, how did America, how did America exalt their throne above the stars of God? How did they do that? Space travel. Is there not a spaceship? Is there not rocket ships and space stations in space around stars? Are there not satellites in the space? That's how Lucifer, which is America, was able to exalt his throne above the stars of God. That's how he did that. Read on. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. Did the white men destroy the congregation of Israel? Absolutely. The Israelites? Yes, he did. Who's known as the blacks and the Spanish today as the Israelites? Read on. In the sides of the north, where is the, the greatest kingdom located? North America. This is clear. Read on. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Is not America, was not America the first to go into the uh, uh, airplane travel? Have you ever been on a plane? Are you literally above the clouds? You can see yourself above the clouds. You are above the clouds. That's what America did with the Wright brothers in the early 1900s. The Wright brothers when they threw the plane. I will be like the Most High. Does he not say he's Jesus? Mm -hmm. I will be like the Most High. No Chinese man did this building in Arab. There was no African and no black man that did this. The white man did that. He said, I'm God. I'm going to prove it to you. You got a phone? Go on Google.com and images and type in God. I guarantee you a white man comes up. Damn. Not just the Pope. Not just Alexander the, uh, the Sixth of Rome did it. Mm -hmm. okay. On your money, the presidents do it by their signet. And God we trust. Who are they letting you? What are they letting us know? That they're God. That's what they're trying to let us know. And if you know what he does, if there is no God, I'm the greatest scientist on the earth. So he's letting you know that he rules the planet. You understand? So this is not talking about a demon angel like the Christian church. This is talking about Lucifer. Who is Lucifer? America. That's what that's going into. It's Lucifer is the feet and toes in Daniel chapter 2 with Nebuchadnezzar's statue. Lucifer is the red dragon with seven heads and ten horns that came out of the sea. All that is symbolic of the European supremacy. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC 
will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.